What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be going over memoization in Python. Memoization is just the process of storing the results of a function call for future use to speed up computations. Let's take a look. So in our last video, we programmed this Fibonacci sequence function and we ran into a problem. If we inputted a number that was too large, the program would take forever to run and it was not optimal at all. And I briefly mentioned the solution to this and that solution was memoization. So now we're actually going to use memoization to optimize this function. So in order to store the results of the previous function calls, we're going to use a dictionary because this is the most optimal inbuilt data structure in Python. So right here, I created a new variable called cache because what we're doing is we're going to be caching each of the results. We're going to store it inside of a data structure. OK, so this is still the original function for the last video, but I've added some comments here to describe the process of how we're going to cache our data. So first, we're going to check if the number is in the dictionary. If it is, we're just going to return the number. If it's not, we're going to do the normal process we did of calculating the Fibonacci of that number, storing it, and then returning it. So if I go over to our diagram that I created, you see that we have, for example, the Fibonacci of 3, right? Well, if the Fibonacci of 3, the first time we do the Fibonacci of 3, it's not going to be in the dictionary. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the Fibonacci of 3 calculation, store it in the dictionary, the value, which is 2. The return value is 2. So we know that the Fibonacci of 3 is 2. So the next time we call the Fibonacci of 3, we're not going to repeat the calculation. We're just going to look in the dictionary and see that the Fibonacci of 3 is 2, and we're going to return 2. So there's no need to do all of that extra cal calculation and computation, and that immensely speeds up the program. So let's code it. So the first thing we're going to do is check if the number is in the dictionary. So what we're going to do is if in in cache. So in is a key in cache. We're going to return cache in. So if you're unfamiliar with dictionaries, I do have a dictionary video. I suggest you check that out. But all we're doing is saying that if in is a key in the dictionary cache, we're going to return the value. All right, now I'm going to create a new variable called result. And all this is going to do is it's going to take whatever the result of the function is, right? So if it's not in the dictionary, I want to calculate the Fibonacci of the number. So we know that the Fibonacci of 0 and 1 is, the, is itself, right? So instead of returning n, I'm going to set result equal to n. So if all I'm doing is I'm replacing the return statements with a variable initial, initial, initializations. All right. So I'm doing result equals the calculation or the Fibonacci of the number. All right. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to say cache n equals result. So now I'm storing it inside of cache. And then I'm, I'm returning the result. Or, yep, yeah, I'm returning result. All right. So let's re recap this. We're checking if the Fibonacci of the number is in cache. If it is, we're just returning that number. For example, if we have Fib of 3, if we see that uh, 2 is is already in there, we're going to return it. If not, we're going to keep going. I'm creating a new variable. I'm setting the result of the Fibonacci of the number to that variable. And then I'm storing it in cache in the dictionary. And then I'm just returning that result. All right. So now you see I have the Fib of 60. Previously, this would take a long time to run. If I run this now, it is instant. That's exactly what we want. You can see it greatly sped up because we reduced the amount of calculations that we had to do greatly by storing our, our function calls. That's memorization. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.